Today on the American Truck Podcast, Intel may release a new processor line, AMD has some 1080 Ti busters coming, Twitch is streaming Mr. Rogers, and the Steam Summer Sale is coming soon. Hello and welcome to the American Truck Podcast with I, Andrew C. Ben Jefferson B. And Freelance Gamer. Is that the ghost of Dr. Uber Shadow? It is indeed. So, oh, man. Like, totally. Wow, that actually sounded really like Scooby Doo. That was actually. Like, I thought you had that queued up on, like, a board. That was, shag- that was Shaggy, not Scooby Doo. This is true. I, would I meant like to promote, promote the, the fact show. I do not sound like a dog, though I thank show. you. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> and we got, and we got, wet, and we got wet, wet Patootie in the back. That's right. Bring it up the rear. Wet Patootie always, the rear. in the back. Always there. I gotta slow down a little bit. Jefferson B, is your truck like the poop? Uh, no, no, I'm clocking in at a solid 72, 73 right I'm now. I'm only doing 70. I, I'm, I'm do, I'm holding at 72, 73 because it's taking so long for you to show up. Well, I'm sorry, we were kind of going up an incline and let's make it I a little bit. I went up that tricky. incline, no problem. Yeah, you have the better engine though. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure so. I think I got the same. I think we got the same truck. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood here at uh, Ghost Incorporated as we discuss engines and... Uh... GB, my neighbor. It's true, though. So, uh, so I, I think what they're trying to allude to here is uh, Twitch is streaming all 886 episodes of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Uh, Thank you. All to support the uh, PBS funding <laughs> campaign that's going on. And, Am I the um, only one who was mildly shocked at the fact that there's 886 unique episodes of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? No, well, I, you you're not care. alone. I knew, I did not know that. It used to air, what was it, five days a week, basically okay. every day, and then it only missed, I think, holidays and certain, uh, it, 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 I think it aired reruns on weekends, and I think it aired for about, what was it, like, well, it's, I think it was like eight, eight, it was like eight years. It was That's, way more than eight years, because it started um, in 1986, or 1968. Oh, okay. oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, and yeah, had, like old black and white Mr. Rogers. Yeah, right? because if you start watching right now... At the time it's of recording, it's in black and white. And if you open the the uh, the stream page in larger than like if if you have a 1080p display and you have it split in half, it'll stay in color. But if you make it the full, if it takes up the full browser page, it will turn your entire Twitch revert. black and white. Yeah, That's kind of cool actually. Yep. Whoa! With everyone. All right. That's, okay. Oh, okay. That's an awkward so, thought. N- hold on. Hold on. Something just. I think. Wepatuti, I think, just ghosted through me, and by ghosted through me, I mean he literally manifested right on top of me. So I am at 100% damage, on a pylon. Mm. I have no idea. God you damn, have, you're gonna have to play that one back here. in slow mo. Uh, but yeah, there must. I guess there's two ghosts going on right now. Oh, well, uh, you're, the, you're, the, you're the only ghost in the U.S. Just keep that in mind. This one. There you go. This is very true. There you go. Um, yeah. So uh, Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, currently a great time to watch it, uh, especially since the stream should be going for how many days? Uh, it's, 17. Yeah, it's like 17, 18 more days. Something like That's that. Someone is very much watching this show. Awesome. No, nah, dude, nothing <laughs> nothing wrong with that at all. Mm. Speaking of things that are plowing through a sign, uh, do we want to uh, move over towards the new Intel Core i9 processors that are coming, well, coming soon? Probably TM. a reasonable plan. Soon TM, in theory. Uh, yeah, those uh, those were leaked by some guy. Um, some guy. We thank this Shout some out to you, guy. some guy. For might be in, might be in all uh, of... PR, comma. All that's yeah. true too. Please it's always a possibility. To... Quote yeah. unquote that guy. You never know who that guy is working for. But uh so basically these processors are going to be what is generally considered the uh enthusiast section of processors. These are the six, eight, ten, and twelve core processors that traditionally have been available for the uh, I series. They're usually considered the extreme processors, uh, but there's never been a really nice way of naming them and talking about them. You know, it's always been that it's the I7 that has 12 cores. You know, so this will now become a new product category in theory of hey, this is where the 8 core, the 10 core, the 12 core processors live now. The core core. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. 
So, so essentially, we're not looking at a new class of processors like i threes, i fives, and i sevens, but a recategorization of old processors. Well, it it these will be new processors that are being put in there. They're going to be Skylake X processors that get stuck into this category. But it it, it is technically a, a recategorization of an existing. It's a new product line of what was a product line already, just not a, a, a named official pro product line. I got you. I'm assuming if you got an i9 processor, it'd be from a very well quality controlled lot. Um, that like would probably be a yeah, pretty good assumption there. I mean, and and it's not to say that the extreme processors that are out today aren't already that grade because a, a 12 core processor has much more stringent quality control plot put on it. But it also means when well, you know you could in theory get a 12 core processor that is not sold to you as one. It could be sold to you as a six core processor that some of the cores didn't work on. Well, that's what um, that's what AMD has been doing with Ryzen, is they are binning based off of QC results and just from the factory shutting off cores that are not functioning up to standard. Right, and right. that's a, a very traditional process that has gone on for decades in chip manufacturing. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I That's, mean, I'm sure in some form or another, but everybody, like all the PR seems to be showing this is a new process. It's not. They've been talking about Intel doing this for years. About yeah, that. and AMD. AMD has been doing it with their quad cores, which became gotcha. dual cores for many years. Interesting. Right. You can't get, you know, this, this core doesn't work on that's this processor. Actually, well, that's actually is... where the six core came from. Was it was failed octa-cores. Uh... All right. I'm, my, I, I will personally have to look into this more for sure. Yeah. Uh, because this is definitely interesting. But yeah. yeah so Core i nines though are coming. Yeah. Supposedly, supposedly June rumored. That's June when they'll they'll start supposedly. talking about um those those chips being being pushed forward into the product yeah. pipeline. And we'll probably uh, if they do come out, we'll probably see them in all the YouTube builders and. This will probably definitely reach the community very quickly. Oh, yeah. And but mainstream popularity, we're looking at, like, 2019, I'm thinking. Like, well, yeah, it's going to be very speculative for a little bit. Well, here's mm -hmm. the thing. Here's the biggest thing with this. Let's say they put out these processors. They're going to still be wicked expensive. They're, they're not – like, this isn't a a new cheap line. It's, you can expect that they're going to cost the exact same amount. It's Intel that, being Intel. That the uh, extreme processors cost now. If you go and buy a 10-core – or an eight core processor all you can buy already six eight ten and twelve core processors from um intel in the i series as it stands right now but you're going to spend upwards of a thousand dollars for that processor you Even know more than that easily. Or, well i think they i want to say they top out about fifteen hundred eight i thought they're I thought eighteens they're twelve but okay yeah fifteen <laughs> <laughs> But so it's it's already a, a thing you can currently get. It's just they haven't been updated for Skylake yet. So right. and Skynet. No, not yeah. Skynet. Skylake. Close enough. Both. Might be both. Don't trust Might. Intel. Might be both. Intel is wonderful. It's great. And they're seeing a lot more competition now. So hopefully uh, they become better. We want to transition that into uh, speaking of competition from the other side of the coin. That is yes. to say, Team Red. Yes, this and, is uh, uh, what's the reds up to. This is a quality I plan. Uh, AMD, of course, uh, has been very stagnant on the GPU side for quite a while now. Um, they've started to pick ATI up. ATI was better. Yeah, Sorry. they started to pick up a little bit with our most recent set of um, their cards that were better suited price point wise, but they were still. Um, I think they were like underperforming. Ten, they were like 1060 grade if you're comparing them yeah. to um, Nvidia stuff. Um, and I can't think of the name of those. Off, and 1060 off. is so affordable that they actually don't compare. It, right. You might. I, as I am. An, I am. An, I am an ATI fanboy. At the end of the day, I, and I bought AMD's because AMD bought ATI. Um, I still won't buy Intel's for other reasons, but um, for their. He's for their got computer. a shiny Nvidia card in his computer right now, though. Yep. Because they they haven't really been sticking with it. Uh, ATI was an independent branch that did great development on its own and great testing, and put out a reasonable product for mid to mid high. I wouldn't say the highest end for a good price. AMD hasn't been able to do that. Yeah, they just started re-releasing re the same old stuff with new names and calling like it was something new, but it yeah. wasn't. 
So this is the uh, one of uh, AMD's first new, actually new uh, GPU lines. It's the AMD Vega uh, GPU series, and um, it is expected to be announced very soon. And it, it should be supposedly uh, multi-tiered. It's going to start. I think it was around four hundred dollars and go up to about six hundred dollars. And the highest end one was expected to be on on par with the uh, 1080Ti, but at about $100 less than the 1080Ti. Now, for anyone who doesn't know this, while I will agree that this is something that um, is interesting and it's hopefully going to create more competition on NVIDIA's side, you need a massive power supply to run an AMD card. So if you are currently running a NVIDIA card, like say a 1060, and thinking that this will be your upgrade, make sure that you can run that amount of power through your power supply. Oh yeah. I, I, I want to add on to that also. With more power, obviously comes a greater uh, heat output, and almost as a PSA, I guess really that you, this is going to see a a tr traditionally we have we see this uh, having a much greater heat output. Yeah. So yeah. You, you can sure expect he higher heat output and higher power usage. Um, because this is so speculative at the moment, there is no hard data on this. We, for all we know, this could be the most this power efficient. This is just efficient. historical that we're talking right. about. Right. But uh, a few other little tidbits here. Um, Steam Summer Sale is coming up. Uh, it's going to be supposedly the uh, June 22nd through the 5th of July. Uh, so nice. if you are, if your wallet is itching to just spew money all over the place, uh, if you never fear. If you recently graduated. First off, congratulations. But if you have a lot of graduation money lying around... Don't waste it on Steam sales. Buy something useful. Don't listen to IMGC. The textbook market is a scam. Buy some Cheers. games. Um, so so in, in keeping with uh, with the Steam news here, a uh, little interesting thing here. They've decided they're going to change how um, the Steam card, trading card drop system is going to work. Um, this is a problem I didn't really know was a problem. And I'm in very intrigued by the fact that it is one. Apparently, there's a, a couple um, developers who are not so good, uh, not so legitimate developers. Uh, they would create basically fake games that had that weren't actual products that they didn't ever intend to sell. Um, and they would use the existing Steam platform to generate hundreds, thousands, etc. Of, uh, of Steam keys which they would then load into Steam bots. They would then take these Steam bots, they'd idle in their fake game, and farm the Steam trading cards. Now, when you say Steam bot, I didn't even, like, that's actually a that's thing? That's apparently a thing. Yep, that's mm -hmm. apparently a thing. So they would they would farm these, these cards, and then they would sell them. And then they would make oh, money oh, from oh, selling oh, the cards, not from selling the game. And of course, huh. the, the there are people out there who will collect Steam cards just for the sake of them existing. They don't have to care about the game or whether the game exists or not to actually buy the cards. So they were selling these cards without ever there even ever being a game, which then created a problem for Steam. Oh. You can say that in this in this setup, there really isn't a loser here there's no one who's yeah. not make who's losing money there's not anyone who's who's losing like there's you, no one losing in this scenario like yeah. being scammed out of game, money but you're still buying these cards so you don't own this game you're still buying these cards it's no different than the game not existing and you buying these cards right exactly so there, there, there's there's no no real loser here but what happened was when they were dealing with the fact that this this game is now seeing hours being played on it and they're just you know racking up hours of a bot idling in a game it started to make the the uh, the steam algorithms think this was a game people actually were playing and it's Ooh, that's awkward. and it would start <laughs> to try to recommend that people pick this game up Ooh. And it wasn't. They're, they've not actually been real games, 
So now you've got real people spending real money on a game that doesn't actually really exist or is not good or is not developed to be good or anything more than a Steam trading card farming game. And so the reason for these new changes are actually to prevent the algorithm from being messed up. And to de decentivize them from being able to do this practice and to make money, but also just to fix this algorithm problem. So right. the actual changes that are being made are um, games of all kinds can still have Steam trading cards. They're not taking away developers' ability to add Steam trading cards, which is what I initially thought when I saw this article. Um, but what it actually does is basically create a proving system that says hey, is this a real game? Yes, then let then I, I will drop Steam, Steam trading cards now. But it won't until that layer is triggered. So if Kyle puts out a game on Steam and it has Steam trading cards, it the Steam trading cards won't drop until people start buying the game, people start playing the game, and Steam's algorithm catches the fact that, okay, hey, this is a game, people are playing it, there's time being spent on it, it's provable that it's being purchased, and then they'll start dropping the cards automatically. So basically, so long as so long as there are you are not just using your developer key. Right. As long as pe as long as you as they can see people are actually paying money for the game and it's not just developer keys that are all, are a hundred percent of the play pool. Good question would be, I wonder what the limits are here. So, like, let's say people stop playing your game. Do you lose the cards? I assume not. I would assume mm. not as well. And this is obviously going to be one of those things that is going to have to be an evolving uh, yeah. rule set. Because they're just going to sell it for a cent to themselves and then sell the Steam cards for a cent to the market. Right. So, and, you know, they said that it's, this should not affect developers who are developing legitimate games, no matter how small. But there is always that real concern that somehow this isn't going to work for the real small indie developer. But only time will tell. This is a, a very recent change that um, Steam has made. And, again, it's like most of their changes on the surface. It doesn't seem like a bad one. We'll see in over time what happens but it is time to end hope you enjoyed this episode of the american truck podcast if you like this video make sure you hit that like button down below perhaps even hit a hit the comment box and leave a comment and then uh, hit that subscribe button we'll see you guys in the next one